California's COVID-19 case rate is now the lowest in the continental U.S. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee and for Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. Over the past week, the state has averaged less than 2,000 cases a day. You may remember it was just last winter that California peaked at more than 40,000 new cases a day. But even with the strong vaccine rollout, the virus is still a threat. More than 200 fully vaccinated San Diegans have still tested positive for COVID-19. News 8's Brandon Lewis has more on what all of this means. Brandon? Marcella and Carlo, there's actually a name for this. They're called breakthrough cases, meaning the vaccine has essentially broken through the protections of the vaccine. But it's also important to remember that this was not completely unexpected. We expect to see those numbers. They're very, very low and emphasizes how good, frankly, the vaccines work. More than 200 San Diegans have tested positive for coronavirus despite being fully vaccinated. At less than a third of a percent, it's a small fraction of all the shots given, and health experts say it's not all that unexpected. We see this with all vaccines in clinical trials and in the real world, no vaccine is 100% efficacious or effective, which means that you will always see breakthrough infections regardless of the efficacy of your vaccine. And just because they tested positive doesn't mean the vaccine was a bust. Of the 203 people, more than half had no symptoms and none have been hospitalized. This is really encouraging news. It demonstrates that what we've already discussed about these vaccines, they also help you prevent from getting seriously ill. While that's good news for now, researchers are concerned about future mutations. These bugs are very clever when they mutate. Not that they think it out, but they do adapt. And uh, so it won't be good. Vaccine makers say they're studying whether patients will need a booster shot in the months ahead. But for now, the focus is on getting everyone their first dose. So all these transmissions going on increase the risk of mutation, increase the risk of new variants until bingo. We get that really nasty variant with high mortality for young people, resistant to vaccines. Locally, the number of breakthrough cases is about three times higher than the national average, although county officials expect it will soon balance out and stress the number is still low overall. We're a little bit higher. We actually expect to see higher numbers locally than they report at the national level because the reports first come locally and then move up the chain. The county points out even those who did get sick from the coronavirus despite being fully vaccinated haven't needed hospitalization and it shows that the vaccine is still highly effective and so far it doesn't appear to be having any effect on demand at least locally. Marcella and Carlo, 